Alright. See how clear this is? That's because I boiled it. It doesn't look like... It doesn't have a bunch of shit at the bottom. It doesn't have, it doesn't have a bunch of shit floating around. It looks like water. Alright? That's what you should have. A lot of people don't do that. Even if you're using juice and I... I'll make some with juice to show everybody, but I do not use juice. I mean, that's prison hooch. This is basically prison hooch too, but better than Welch's mixed with bread yeast. I promise. Because you can mix this with orange juice. You can mix this with anything. Alright, it says to use a gram or two. So I'm just going to... Give it two spoonfuls because I don't have a scale on hand. They are cheap to get on Amazon. I'm spilling a lot, so I may be three spoonfuls. It's okay if you spill it. Just uh, clean it up. Put it down the drain. Put some yeast into the sewer system. Some good yeast into the wild. Alright. So, uh, that's that. I can already smell it working. Because those nutrients are telling it what to do, and everything's dissolved real well. I'm going to let it sit open for a while, because this part takes a... The yeast needs oxygen, to because it's dried, it's not alive right now. So It's alive, but it's dried. It needs time to get wet and come back to life. And uh, kind of like a seed a little bit. And... Uh, so it needs oxygen for that process, so I'm going to leave this open for about 30 minutes before I put the CO2 cap on. Uh, this makes sure that bacteria doesn't get in there while it ferments. So I will be doing that very soon, but I'll give it about 30 minutes to cultivate is what it's called. Because we are basically just growing bacteria, that's all we're doing. We're growing yeast, which is a bacteria and letting it do what it does, which is eat sugar and make alcohol and CO2. And I'm probably going to make champagne with this, if I can, by bottling it up and creating pressure. And the CO2 created by the yeast will actually create bubbles and do champagne-style drinks. So uh, I'm going to mix honey in it and make it good and make uh, bigger batches. Because you can make 200 gallons a year legally from what I've read so far, uh, once you're 21. Must be 21. Alright, but this is how to do it. Homemade vodka, basically, but uh, no distilling necessary. Distilling is illegal in the U.S. Uh, you don't want to let this ferment all the way, or else you're just going to have basically like vodka, rocket fuel. Only let it get to like 15%, and then you can have a really good wine in like three or four days. I, I've read that in like five days max it takes to get to 15% if you have all the nutrients and everything. That's what turbo yeast is. It's just this kind of yeast with nutrients. But, uh, yeah, that's it. I will make updates. I can really smell it already, though. And this is the same thing that happens. I uh, am a legal marijuana patient, and I grow weed, and I use a CO2. I use yeast to make create CO2 for my grow room. And I'll actually probably put this in my grow room now that I just thought about it. Uh, I uh, use this to create CO2. Use a system like this, and uh, it smells the same. It's The yeast is working. I can smell it. You don't have to see bubbles yet. That smell means it's working. Alright. Peace.